today I am working on, this is called uh, Fabriano paper. It's a rough paper. It's a 140 pound cold press. Oh no, this is rough. It's got a little bit of a texture to it, which I like sometimes. So that's the paper I'm using. I've got a lot of different brushes, which I'll probably, as best I can, explain when I use them. And first of all, I've got to do a drawing. And my composition in the photo reference here, I try to shoot my reference photo so the composition is where I want it as I'm going to use it. So it's pretty good just as is. So now it's a matter of putting the drawing down on the paper and I don't get too detailed with it. I do want a good composition and, and I like this very much. I just don't want my horizon line here to be in the midpoint. So as it shows here, here's the ocean way out here. This is, of course, the Pacific. And these mountains, this Monterey Peninsula, Big Sur area across the, uh, the bay here, Monterey Bay. So I'm going to start and just lay in a horizon line roughly, same place where it is. I'm using a mechanical pencil I like very much. This one is a 0.7. It's called a Graph Gear 1000. It's a little pricey, but the weight of it and the feel of it is really nice. And I like the mechanical aspect of it because I don't have to stop and sharpen. So here comes a little bit of a horizon line out there. And I don't need this line to be terribly dark. It can be, oh, medium. It's, all I have to do is be able to see it. And that's enough. This cliff, I think that's called West Cliff Drive up here. There's all these old homes. It's really quite beautiful. So these trees out here really add to the charm of this place. Hopefully I can capture that. I'm going to try to put in a nice dramatic sky like... Often this is just a blue sky like typical, but I may not do it that way. I want something a little more dramatic and I want the surf to look a little bigger. So we're gonna try to take care of all these things. So there's my horizon line and the cliff is just a little below the horizon. So I'm looking down a hair. So I'll keep that aspect here and, and this will be our cliff area. And it doesn't matter if I draw this perfectly well. This is just a guideline. And so that's all I really need to worry about at this stage. It just has to kind of look like what I need. I can always fix things in paint. I don't have to have the pencil drawing perfect. And by the way, <coughs> excuse me, I do have a digital projector, but I found out quickly, I, I hardly ever use it. When I do that, it's in essence, digitally tracing, and then the drawing looks stiff and kind of loses some life. So I don't like the feeling that I get when I use uh, a digital projector. I bought it, but I've only used it about three times and decided early on, no, I don't think I need this. So now I've got the cliff here, and we're going to go a little farther. It's getting closer to us here. So we're getting a little bit closer. What I look at, is this parallel? Is it an angle? What is it? And it's just slightly coming down here. So that's going to be about it. And by the way, you can't see it perhaps, but I have tape. This is artist tape because it's a little less sticky. It's all around the edge of the paper. And I do that so when I paint off the edge, when I'm all through with the, with the painting and I remove the tape, it gives a nice white edge. It's just a better presentation. And we've learned that in art school and I've always remembered it and always liked that feeling. So here comes this cliff. I'm not too worried about details. There are some things going on here. My attitude is, and I think a lot of artists is, I can draw with a pencil, but I can also draw with a brush. And when I draw with a brush, I get what I think is a fresher look, overall feeling. So I'm just making sure here as I do this, my proportions are similar to what I'm getting up here on the cliff. So 